The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare this generation? It is like children who sit in the marketplace and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they said, He is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they said, Look, he is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by her works. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Obviously, the gospel today with Jesus proclaiming uh, calls us, challenges us to take a look. When do we at times in small ways or in rather big ways make excuses for following the way of Jesus Christ? We can see he's frustrated with uh, uh, the folks that he's preaching to because they're putting him down uh, because he is eating with uh, sinners and so forth. And, 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 of course, then makes that point, hey, you put, you put John the Baptist down because he didn't. Uh, because, uh, uh, you know, as it says here, he, he, he neither ate nor drank. And they said he is possessed by a demon. Maybe we don't do it quite that dramatically, but we all need to look. Are there ways in which we too readily rationalize and excuse ourselves, our attitudes, our our habits, uh, whatever they may be? Uh, When we uh, look at John of the Cross, obviously uh, we can be very challenged by his life. As I mentioned, he lived in the 16th century at the time of the, the, Reform- the Counter-Reformation to try to bring the Catholic Christian faith back to a deep centeredness in the Lord Jesus Christ. One of the points he made, and he contrasted it not by what he said, but by what he did. He was basically pointing out that the church back then, and the church every age needs renewal, but he he made the point that the leadership and too many of the people, what they were really following was not Christ, but the way of, of, of comfort and convenience. Comfort and convenience. Again, we all want to be comfortable. We all want to have a a life that's fairly convenient that we can deal with. But the point is, the true test of whether we're putting Jesus Christ first is when a decision we're called to make that may be inconvenient to us. An action that may cause us to be uncomfortable. And yet, part of that inconvenience and discomfort is to do what Jesus Christ asks us to do. Maybe it's, uh, it's going the extra mile for somebody that we don't want to because uh, we don't want to forgive them or we, you know, they've hurt us or they've slighted us so I'm just going to write them off and I'm never going to do anything good for them. Where we're said, hey, the inconvenient reality of forgiving. Or it might be that call, as John, the, as John of the Cross had, that call to a deeper prayer life and, and saying, well, I, I really don't have the time. It's too un- uncomfortable, too inconvenient. Uh, uh, Lord, uh, uh, y- you understand, it's a, it's a busy life we have out there. Or it, it may be uh, some other habit we know, need to work on. Uh, whether it's our prayer life or whether it's, uh, uh, you know, uh, the way uh, maybe we can put other people down or put ourselves down or, or whatever else it is. Uh, a habit, whether hopefully most of us don't have the habit of smoking, but whatever it might be, are there habits we know we need to ask the Lord to help us to let go of? But it means we may be inconvenient, it may be uncomfortable, and so even though we say we want to change, do we really? So maybe today all of us can take a deeper look and say the cross calls us to self-denial, not just to, you know, uh, put ourselves down, but the kind of self-denial that, again, if there is something, a habit or an attitude or an action that we know is getting the way of being consistently faithful to the way of Jesus Christ, we need to look at that and we need to not rationalize and say, Lord, I can't do this on my own but I can look to you and you can give me the grace and you can give me the power if I'm centered first of you and not in convenience and comfort. Uh, Let's take a moment and see in any of this, is there even one small way? Maybe we're being called to go that extra mile even though it's difficult 
and do it with the Lord's help. God bless you.